Yes, alongside Android 15, we have a pixel feature drop, and this isn't to be confused with QPR1, which is still in beta and set to arrive in December, but if you have a Pixel 6 or newer, you'll be getting some neat new stuff. So here's what you need to know. If you want the latest Android or Pixel content, then why not consider subscribing to 95 Google here on YouTube? We would really love to have you and it helps grow our community. And if you want exclusive content, including behind the scenes videos, exclusive wallpaper packs, and more on top of that, then how about checking out our channel memberships by clicking or tapping the join button to learn more. So let's start with some new stuff for Pixel 9. Thanks to this feature drop, there is a new Gemini extension for Pixel Screenshots, which I think is a great app, and this is coming soon. So when this rolls out, this is a new feature that will allow Gemini to find information saved in the Screenshots application with the Google Wake word. You know the one, I'm not gonna say it out loud to trigger devices out there. So you use this followed by something like use screenshots to find, I don't know, the brand of sneakers that I saved. That will then pull up contextual information and the screenshot that you've saved or taken locally. As someone who screenshots practically everything that I do need to remember, I think this is gonna be an absolute godsend and it makes sense to add the Gemini or at least add it to that Gemini feature stack. A new camera addition to the Pixel 9, the 9 Pro and the 9 Pro XL, sadly not the Fold due to some obviously obvious reasons, means that devices will now be able to automatically detect when the current scene is underwater if you're taking photos. When you're underwater, it'll enable underwater photography mode and even enhanced video recording, which will make colors richer and more accurate to account for the lighting differences when you're underwater itself. The bonus here is that this new mode will also let you use any waterproof case when swimming or snorkeling. And this was previously a function that was limited to selected cases or brands since the Pixel 3 era. So any generic case will now work if you want one to take pictures underwater might be a nice new function. Now let's get into some features for everyone because there are lots of other things coming here with this feature drop to other devices and other hardware. So from Android 15, there's naturally that theft protection suite of features and private space, as well as things like the widget discovery and the picker itself. Adaptive vibration will help reduce noise in quiet environments. Your microphone and other sensors are actually leveraged to determine what the sound levels are or what they are in the current context. That's a really cool feature. Really like that one. There's also, this also applies to things like ringtones and notifications and alerts on the Pixel 7 and newer, sadly not on the Pixel 6 series. Definitely go check out our deep dive into Android 15 linked in the description and pinned comment for the full lowdown on everything Android 15, as I'm not gonna list everything off in this video as we do have a proper explainer that you can enjoy at your own leisure. One new cool addition is also that Night Sight is now gonna be available on Instagram for Pixel 6 and newer. For some reason, the A series is not included here. I don't know why, it just isn't. While Gemini Live is also expanding to Brazil, Denmark, India, Japan, and South Korea after the last expansion to a few new regions. That's a really good way to get that contextual talking with your Gemini system. And I think that's a really nice option for those languages in those regions. There's also a whole host of Pixel 9 features that are now coming to older devices. I think this is really great news. Pixel Weather is coming to the Pixel 6 and newer around the world. The updated weather application is a really big, bold departure from the older application, which I also liked in its own right, but I do think this one is visually just a tree. But that's not all, as there is gonna be an update to the Pixel Weather app that is adding things like pollen trackers with grass, tree, and even weed breakdowns in France, Germany, Italy, and the UK. And I think something that hay fever sufferers out there will no doubt be happy to hear. It's definitely nice to see the Pixel Weather app get a little bit more attention, as it's a good application in its own right. Let's hope that they continue that as time progresses. Similarly, the new Pixel Thermometer UI, which was introduced on the Pixel 9 series for things like object temperatures is also coming to the Pixel 8 Pro. That's the only other device that has a temperature sensor. This includes the camera viewfinder and the ability to save recent measurements for up to seven days. That is even if you use a feature, I must admit, I don't really use that temperature sensor at all. The Audio Magic Eraser upgrade for the Pixel 9 that lets you turn up or turn down specific sounds and different voices is also coming to the Pixel 8, 8 Pro and 8A. So you have even more controls to enhance the audio and experience with your videos. And finally, on the phone's front, Google's next gen call screen is now coming to Japan and the UK for Pixel 6 devices and newer. This arrived back with the March Pixel feature drop. If you remember that video we did on the channel, definitely go check that out if you didn't already. That was available in US English, but now it works with Japanese and UK English, which is what I'm speaking. It's mostly just an enhanced over the original function with some options that you can access when someone calls you any screen. We're not done just yet though, as the Pixel tablet is getting some new tricks with this feature drop. And one great move is that now, 
If you do dismiss notifications on your Pixel phone, they'll also be removed from your Pixel tablet and vice versa. So if you disable on your tablet, they'll disappear on your phone. You do have to enable this feature in settings first, and it will only ever happen over Wi-Fi. So when you're out and about on mobile data, 4G, 5G, or whatever it is, it might not work right away until you reconnect to a Wi-Fi network, but hey, at least a start, and it will mean that your devices are not getting clogged up with notifications. Besides the home panel screensaver, which was added here as well, the Pixel tablet is adding some new clocks to the hub mode. The Google Photos screensaver is also getting more interactive and lets you share, favor, or even archive photos, which is something that's actually missing from the Nest Hub for what it's worth. I like this because you're able to hide photos you don't want to ruin in your in-home aesthetic or photos that you just don't want people to see. Google also reiterated that UWB powered tap to cast, which was actually announced way back at the start of 2024, will finally be available in the coming weeks. So that'll let you do things like seamlessly move your content over from a 6 Pro, 7 Pro, 8 Pro Fold, or 9 Pro and 9 Pro Fold, so basically Pro models only, sadly, to a nearby tablet. That means it'll work in both directions as well, so you can move content from your tablet to a phone if you do want to do that as well. When you do use this, a little pill will appear on your phone to switch, just tap it and voila. This was actually first shown off back at CES at the start of the year, but it's nice to see this finally come to fruition. And rounding out the entire feature drop, we have some added functions for the Google Pixel Watch. Google hasn't left the watches out this time. The Pixel Watch is getting a new individual contact tile. That went, so when you use this, the profile image of the contact is flanked by shortcuts to call and message if you need to quickly get in touch with someone, especially if they're one of your favorites. Meanwhile, with Gmail for Wear OS, the app will now let you send and select emoji reactions as replies, basically mimicking the feature that is on your phone and your desktop. Can't see why you'd use this, but it's there if you want to try it from your wristwatch. Another function is the new loss of pulse detection on the Pixel Watch 3. This is now coming to three more European countries, including Belgium, Italy, and Spain. Some more great news for Pixel Watch 3 owners as you get a new feature if you live in one of those countries. So in tandem with the official release of Android 15, I do think this is a nice little extra side dish or maybe even a dessert if you think about it. Google didn't specifically state when all of these features were coming, but we're led to believe that it could be from today, but certain features may take a few days or even a few weeks to roll out based upon previous timelines and whatnot. So if you don't see these right away after updating to Android 15 on your phone or tablet, or even grab a Pixel Watch update, then don't be too alarmed. These extra options could be there soon and they should be there soon. I want to ask you though, what do you think? Is it a nice update or do you want to see more from a feature drop? I guess technically Android 15 is part of that feature drop as well. So it's, it is quite a big slate of updates. Let me know down in the comment sections below and a big shout out to our channel members out there too. You're real G's. I love you guys and I respect you. Thanks for watching though. And I will speak to you later.